Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up your day out of days preferences. Now, the day out of days is an automatic report, but there may be situations where you want to put the report in landscape instead of portrait to fit the data better. Or maybe you want to change the abbreviations within the report, or even customize the header and footer. Well, you can do all that, and let me show you how. So if I want to see the day out of days report, I go up to File, Print View, and select the Day Out of Days tab. And I can select any of the categories uh, and get Day Out, day out of Days report for it. But I'm going to leave it on Cast Members and click View. And it gives me the Day Out of Days report. This is a standard report showing you know, when items are uh, starting work, finishing. But I may want to change you know, some of these abbreviations. A good example of this is uh, I want to change the holiday, which right now you can see is a slash right here. But I want to change it to something else. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and close this window and close the print view window. I'm going to go up to Schedule, Day Out of Days Preferences. And here's where I can change a lot of the information that's on the Day Out of Days, day out of days report. So, as that example, I want to change the holiday from a slash, which is its default. I'm going to change it to a capital X. And if I hit Preview down here, I can get a preview of what that's going to look like. And as you can see, now it's a big X. And you can do that for a lot of these abbreviations. Notice we got start work and work here. And notice there's no start work abbreviation. It's combined from start and work. So you can change those letters if you have letters that are more appropriate for your schedule. Another option over here is skip names after first page. And if that's checked, what that does, if I click preview, is notice there's the names of the elements on the first page. If that option is checked on the next page, it'll remove them to try and save you some space. Um, I personally like to have them up there because it's, it's a nice reference uh, on the grid. This checkbox here, print day of days, uh, this is a little bit misleading, but what this is referring to is these options here. So the fitting, rehearsal, and travel. And these are specific to the red flags. And this was covered in another tutorial, but uh, just as a reminder, this is these are red flag uh, day of days, um, red flags that appear on the day of days. And if you want them to appear, you have to click the print button. And if you don't, they won't appear. It's uh, in case you don't want them printed on the day of days report. By default, I think it's it's unchecked. So uh, make sure to check that if you want to see it on the report. Here is where you can change the information of the header and the footer of the report. And this is some basic information that's usually pre-populated in there, such as the picture title report name. And these columns refer to the left column, the center column, and the right column. And there's two rows. And on the bottom in the footer, there's only one row, but it's, uh, left, center, and right. And you can just type some information in here, and it will appear the same uh, on each one. Or you can use this interpreted text, which is the text within the brackets. And we've added some handy buttons in here of some common ones that you may want on the report. So uh, one of them is time or today's date. If you want to put that at the bottom of the report, let's say like this page, what I can do is I can just copy and paste this, but let me recreate it down here just to show you how it would work. I can type page, hit space, and do page number. And notice it pre-populates. I'd have to click back in there. Of space, total pages. And so what that'll do is it'll print uh, the page 1 of 6 or 1 of 10, how many that is. Um, and so that's a handy thing to have there. You can change the font size here, um, change what font it is and the font size, if it's bold or italic. And then one of the more important ones is in the page setup down here. So if I click that, you can switch it from portrait to landscape. And that's a very common thing that people do uh, to get a little bit more room on the report. You can also change it from uh, letter to legal, um, mess with the margins. I can click OK and get a preview again and see what it looks like with all these changes. And flip through that. So once I'm all done with all these changes, all I have to do is click OK and the changes are applied. And then if I go up to File, Print View, Day Out of Days, and then click View down at the bottom, 
I can see the report with all the changes applied to it. So hopefully that will help you make the report more customized for your needs. Now, are there topics that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just want to send us some feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check out entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page, where you can find ways to friend us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.